Cisco police are offering new details and a new view of a deadly police shooting from last month. KTV's Christian Captain has been monitoring the virtual town hall that police held this afternoon, and police say that the man who died was armed with a gun. Christian. Yeah, that's right. Police say that the man who was armed with that handgun was 41-year-old Brian Bluford. They say he was armed with a handgun and raised and pointed it towards officers moments before they opened fire. Now, they have released new video of that officer involved shooting. We're about to show that video. And a quick warning, the video is graphic. Put your hands up and get on the ground! slowed and enhanced that video highlighting the weapon they say that was recovered at the scene. San Francisco police say they were in the area before the shooting and saw an unrelated suspect who had a felony warrant and in the process of taking that man into custody, Bluford showed up at the scene demanding officers free the man who they just taken into custody. Officers on scene say Bluford continued to yell at them to release the man and pulled up his shirt to reveal a handgun tucked into his waistband. Police say the officers told Bluford to put his hands up or get down on the ground more than two dozen times. Ultimately, they say Bluford refused. They say he raised the gun and pointed it at the officers, and police say that is when two officers opened fire, striking Bluford. Mr. Bluford looked towards the patrol officers and with his right hand removed the handgun from his waistband and held it at his side. Mr. Bluford then immediately raised his right arm into an extended position and pointed the handgun towards the officers. An officer-involved shooting occurred, with Patrol Officer 1 firing his department-issued patrol rifle and Patrol Officer 2 firing his department-issued handgun. Well, those same officers who fired their weapons administered CPR on scene, and Bluford was transported to Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Now, police do say this incident is still under investigation, both within San Francisco Police Department and by the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. The town hall is still underway at this hour, and we will continue to monitor that town hall. There's also a vigil set to take place and start at 6 p.m. for Bluford at the intersection of Fairfax and Catalina, the scene of that officer-involved shooting. We have a crew on the way to that vigil. We will continue to monitor all angles of the story and bring you the very latest developments. For now, we're live in San Francisco. Christian Kaft and KTVU. Fox 2 News. All right, Christian, thank you for that report. Amanda